from the viewpoint of many therapists who um, are skeptics about meds, um, who feel deeply suspicious of the drug companies. The question is, do we need medications and why in the conduct of psychotherapy would we ever need someone to take a, uh, any kind of medication? Well, I think that's a really good question, and um, it, it's important for us to be cautious about thinking about a client taking medication. And the way that I think about it is that it primarily has to do with the client's functioning level, um, particularly as as someone has more and more difficult. Well, I guess two things: the functioning level of the client and also the speed of response. So sometimes medications, if they work for a client, can work faster for more severe symptoms than psychotherapy. And so uh, there, I feel strongly that the combination of both is the most effective for most people. But mm -hmm. if I've got someone who's severely ill enough, depressed or schizophrenic or psychotic or whatever, that it's very difficult that we're really focusing on basic functioning and survival, it seems like something that works more quickly uh, could be helpful and effective. And I think about medications as like a safety net in the mm -hmm. sense of using them to pull someone's functioning up to the point where they can begin to have more mental and physical energy to participate more meaningfully in psychotherapy, uh, begin to think about making changes in their life, uh, thinking about things like exercise and self-care. You know, mm -hmm. someone when someone's really ill, often they can barely get out of bed, much yeah. less do some of those other things. 